Apaga a lenha, rojão. Traz a lenha pro fogão. Vem fazer armação. Hoje é um dia de sol. Alegria de Coió é curtir o verão. Vem na galeia, rojão. Traz a lenha pro fogão. Vem fazer armação. In 1960, a new young dashing samba dancing legend was being born, and he goes by the name of Edison Arantes Nascimento, better known as Pele. Pele played soccer at a time when Brazil was racially divided and the social pyramid was based much more on race. However, through his fame and soccer glory, he changed how Afro Brazilians were looked at within Brazil, as well as inspired hundreds of poor Brazilian children. The poor treatment of Afro-Brazilians goes all the way back to the slave trade. During the slave trade from the 1600s to the 1800s, approximately 5 million Africans were transported to Brazil as slaves, which are more than any other country in the world, including US and Europe. Of course, this was a hundred years ago, and many today may say Brazil has no racist problems, perhaps economic or political, however, when you explore just a bit more, and dig a bit deeper, you see exactly how differently Afro-Brazilians are treated and how different their lives are than others. I've come here to meet Brazil's first black female superstar, the actor who 35 years ago played the title role in the film of the life of Chica da Silva. Hello. Good morning, how are you? Chica is the symbol of the roots of Brazil's racial democracy and its history of racial mixing. You have a beautiful, beautiful oh, place. So. My God. But the reality for the actress who played her was quite different. The producer didn't want me to do the film because he thought I was too ugly. <laughs> Until very recently in Brazil, black people were all considered ugly. <laughs> Of course, Zé Zemuara got the part, but even with her new status, she painfully learned that the idea that Brazil was free of racism rang hollow. Chica da Silva brought me into activism. I'm an activist, a fervent activist for the black movement. I traveled to 16 countries promoting the film, including the US. And when I got back, I began to think, where is everybody? There were so few black actors in the media. I think the country has a debt to black people and needs to be corrected so that Brazil can rehabilitate itself for black. Is everybody here black? The majority. Majority, yeah. The seat of God is considered one of the blackest neighborhoods in Rio de Janeiro. But even here in a black neighborhood, it is a smaller population of lighter people who have the best opportunities in life. In Brazil, we are not allowed to talk about this. We have to live in a racial democracy that doesn't exist. There is no equality. We have lived under the myth of a racial democracy. But this democracy is exposed as a lie when we look at the color of the people who live in favelas, the color of the people who are in prison, the color of most of the people who live from crime. People will tell you that our problem in Brazil is an economic problem, a social problem, anything except racial. It can never be racial, but it is. Pele grew up in poverty and struggled in his early life and childhood. He barely ever had time or money to truly practice and master the sport of soccer. However, he still loved the sport and developed a talent for it. When he practiced, he didn't even have a soccer ball. Instead, he used a rolled up sock stuffed with rags and kicked it around in his childhood home city of Peru. At the age of only 15, Pele joined the soccer club known as Santos FC in 1956 and from there his career launched. 
He was introduced to the world in the 1958 World Cup, which happened in Sweden. Displaying extraordinary speed, athleticism, and skill, he was able to lead Brazil to win in the finals over the host countries. People around the world soon became aware of Pele's huge soccer abilities. At the time, Brazil had a social pyramid that was based on mostly race. Blacks were usually the lower class and most of the time poor. However, after Pele's story was being told around the world, especially in Brazil, the poor children in Brazil living in poverty were truly inspired. He proved to them that the social pyramid doesn't have to be true. Poverty and lower class can be avoided through soccer and sport. He truly gave the Afro-Brazilian children hope that they can escape poverty through hard work and dedication. Pele invoked in many professional areas after he retired. He used his soccer fame and glory to bring attention to and help many causes, including Brazil's Minister of Sport, as well as a United Nations Ambassador for Ecology and Environment. Some of his more important careers were working in the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, working in the UNICEF to improve and help the needs of children in poverty in Brazil and around the world. Pele obviously still cares about the children of his home country of Brazil. He has recently been having many fundraising charity dinners called Goals for Life which donated to the Pequeno Principe Hospital and the Research Institute in Brazil. Even today, Pele is acting as a FIFA ambassador against racism and said he does want to fight racism. Last year when Dani Alves was going to take a corner kick, somebody threw a banana at the pitch. He peeled the banana, ate it and took the corner. Nobody talked about it again. It was an act of racism. I think if Dani had taken the banana and had thrown it back into the stands, we would still be talking about it today. I think that Aranha precipitated himself a little bit by wanting to fight the supporters. If I had to stop or shout every time since I started to play in Latin America, here in Brazil, in its interior, every time I was racially abused, every game would have to be stopped. I think we have to fight racism, but prohibition will not come in a public way. There was a time when Santos FC had Dorval, a black right winger. Pele was black, Mengalvio was black, Coutinho was black. Santos were world champions with only Pepe being white. When we had to play in the interior of Brazil, they called us every word possible. Did you ever hear about any news on racism at the time? It was because we didn't give publicity to this. I think that when we have more publicity on something like this, the more likely it is that it will happen again. In the video, Pele plainly states that we must fight racism and that FIFA's ambassador against racism, he is doing that. But he also knows it's a complicated situation because he knows the more publicity that is given to it, the more likely it is that it will happen again. In conclusion, the year's topic of leadership and legacy relates to Pele because Pele was the leader of Brazil. He became a face as an Afro-Brazilian around the world and inspired the poor children of Brazil by showing them you can escape poverty and fight through racism. He settled many issues of racism in Brazil and is still fighting today for equality as a FIFA ambassador against racism. A lenha pro fogão, vem fazer armação. Hoje é um dia de sol, alegria e coió, é curtir o verão. Vem na galeia rojão, traz a lenha pro fogão, vem fazer a maçã. Hoje é um dia de sol, alegria de coió, é curtir o verão. Yeah, 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 yeah.